Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, Director of Marketing Communications for Cuisinart. And this is the Cuisinart Thermoelectric Yogurt Maker. A lot of people are eating yogurt for not just breakfast, but for snacks and even sometimes for dinner. So simple and easy to make yogurt, I'm going to show you how to do it, but first I'm going to show you all about the machine. This is um, your lid and inside there is um, a container which is completely removable, which also has an integrated lid. And this is great when your yogurt's done because you don't need to transfer it into something else. You can take this and bring it right to your refrigerator. And what happens with this yogurt maker is it goes through several phases. First, you're going to mix some ingredients together. You're going to put it in the machine and first it's going to ferment the yogurt. And then when it's done fermenting, what's going to happen is it's going to switch to a cool feature. And then it'll stay on the cool feature um, until you turn the machine off. I'm going to turn it on by hitting the start button and what's going to happen is it's on a standard setting for eight and you can actually ferment for up to 24 hours and it'll flash until you start the machine and what will happen is it'll count down from that eight hours and when the eight hours is up it'll automatically switch to cool and when it does that this will have a C in that display. But how you can adjust the ferment time is either by pressing the minus button and you see how it went to cool and then it go one all the way up to 24. If you hold your finger on it, it'll advance automatically. And you'll see how that goes to 24. So I'm going to hit stop just so it resets itself. And you just hold your finger on it for about three seconds and it'll shut off. I'm going to put it on start. And I'm going to actually put it on eight hours because that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you how to put the mixture together to make yogurt from scratch. So first what we're going to do is we're going to add the milk. And it's important to um, thoroughly mix these ingredients together at the very beginning because it'll help give you a much better result at the end. This happens to be plain whole milk yogurt. And this is what's called your starter. And we have about six ounces of that. And you really need the starter because that's what's going to help you um, start the fermentation process. And what you're going to do is use a whisk and you're just going to break this up really easily and just whisk this very, very thoroughly until it's completely incorporated. The great thing about yogurt is that it's really healthy for you. I like the fact that um, you get to make it yourself. This yogurt machine is capable of making 50 ounces. I'm just going to take the lid off. You can do this outside the machine if you prefer. I'm just going to pour this in. You see how smooth and broken up that yogurt was to get it started. And um, I started to say that this container is 50 ounces, but just so you know that when you're done, you'll have um, more than six eight ounce servings of yogurt. So all we do is put the lid on like I mentioned, put the, the top on, and we're going to hit the start button. It's on, like I said, eight hours. When it's done going through the fermentation process, it will switch to cool. Like I mentioned, the C will be in the display, and then it'll stay on cool until you either turn it off or um, unplug it. And then all you do is at the end, remove the container, and you can enjoy your yogurt right then, or what you can do is store it in the refrigerator, say for breakfast the next day. It's so easy to make healthy homemade yogurt. While you're at work, your yogurt maker's working for you. When you come home, it's gonna have a beautiful consistent yogurt that's healthy for you and your family.